welcome today we're going to look at how to connect to the database with VB script using ADO connection objects and uh, the record of record side objects and how to read data from database by executing SQL queries ADO is ActiveX data objects it's a Microsoft technology and it is an interface to access database you are going to use different objects to connect to the database and to read data from database those objects includes ADODB connection object ADODB record set objects and you are going to open the database you open the record set by executing actual query you can read the data and compare validate the data from database so we're going to look at a scenario how we are going to use these objects so this is the scenario um, I'm going to explain in today's script basically we are going to uh, create an order with an application that is from the front end the GUI part and also we're going to capture the order from GUI whatever the application generates the order we capture that order and at the same time you also read the order number from the database for that you are going to create an object then connect to the database and read data from database and compare the results whatever the order number that is created from the GUI part from the front end you compare validate with database and if both match then you are going to pass your script so first we are going to create order from the front end for that I'm going to just uh, record quickly a script to create an order so I'm going to open application okay it's a standard application so this is the application I want to open and then click OK now uh, I'm going to record against that application Okay, it's going to open the application. So now I'm going to quickly record the script to create order. Okay, so now we are going to create an order. Okay, I'm providing all this data to create the order on this application. Uh, 
right the order is created so let's stop recording and also I'm going to capture that order number so here I'm going to use get our property method to capture that order number so if you don't know what is this get arrow property method please watch my other video that's where I explained what is get arrow get to and set to properties please watch that video so here we're going to use the get arrow property method uh, for that I'm going to add that object to my object repository so open this object repository file And now I'm going to quickly add that object to the repository. So click on this button. And now I'm going to click on this edit box because that's where actually the order number is stored. And then, okay, that object gets added the repository okay so that object is added now um, we are going to close this object repository and now you can use the get arrow property method so you can display the available keywords that's where all the test objects are get exposed in the scripts um, so go to the test objects and then flight reservation and the order number so you just drag and drop this object and now we are going to use the get arrow property method for this object so dot get arrow property so what it's saying returns the current values of, of the object so we're going to use this method and now we're going to use the property that holds that number is the text property so if you're not sure you can also spy and just to know what is that property that holds that value so you can spy it using this object spy it's basically so you can hand this hand icon and then place on top of this Okay, just you have to move this subject by a little bit. So now we are going to spy this object. So this is the object. Click on top of that I and then now we are going to give you uh, different properties from that object. So you are going to identify from this list of properties. So from this list of properties, you're going to look at which property that holds that number, right? So you're going to use that property. See, text property holds that number. You can use the text property when you use get arrow property method. That way you can capture the number and you're going to store that into some variable. Um, something, I'm going to put some wait time just to wait my script at this point. and also you're going to just declare one variable something order from GUI right order from GUI and then you're going to store that number into this variable so that way you can capture the order number and then store into this variable and the remaining part of the script just you are making a connection to the database the underlying database of this application and then you're going to pull data from the database so there are the different uh, uh, connection strings how you can make two different databases
like you can make uh, the Oracle database, the SQL Server database. But in our context, the database, what we are trying to connect is access database. That's where you declare one variable and you're using that variable to create this connection object. So this is the connection object. Once you create a connection object, that connection object is having a method called open. Just you're trying to open the database. And that database contains two different arguments, the open method. So the first argument is the ODBC drivers open database connectivity drivers depending on which database you are trying to connect you are going to mention the appropriate ODBC drivers if it is a Oracle this is ODBC for Oracle this is the SQL server and this is the ODBC driver to connect to access database and you are going to mention what is your database details because if it is a, it is a Microsoft access database so it's a flat file you are going to mention the file name with path if it is a Oracle, then you're going to mention the server name, the user and passwords, but a SQL, again, the server name, the user and passwords. So this way you're going to mention what is this ODBC driver and also the database details to connect to the database. Once you connect to the database, then you will get the record site. So you're going to create a record site object and here basically you're going to um, create an SQL query because the, this connection object is having a method called execute and for that you're going to mention the SQL query something select start from orders or you can also say here if you want to get uh, the order number so you can also say just one column data you also mention select order number from orders where customer name is equal so and so basically here if you look at the data table I'm going to um, Okay, so data table, and then I also uh, mentioned the uh, uh, customer name from this uh, feature. That way, the script is going to read the customer name from the data table. Okay, so whatever the customer name, say for example, so just you can say something demo QTP. Okay, so that the, the the script is going to read this customer name. Even when I create order from the GUI also, I'm going to read data for the customer name. So this is where the customer name, right? And then you're going to mention here, instead of hard-coded data, because I want to read the data from the script. So data table dot value, the customer name is the column. That way you can also mention your own data in the data table and the script is going to read the data. So this is how actually the script uh, is going to run this SQL query and then it's going to populate the data. And now the data is going to contain the fields. So you're going to read the field value by index. Fields of zero, that is the first column from your record set, dot value. And you're going to compare with what the order you get from GUI. So, so you already captured that order number from GUI, right? So here, so that's order number. So you are going to compare this order number with the one that is coming from database. That way you make sure so you are storing the appropriate data into the script. Okay, and then that's it. So that's how actually you're going to compare the data and then if both are same then you're going to write to your results using reporter object saying that the database validation the values match or else you're going to say no match. Here I'm using uh, one conversion function. What this is going to do is convert a string into an integer. That way you're going to compare apple to apple. Okay. All right, so uh, that's all uh, about the scripts. Let's execute and uh, see what happens. So just uh, give me one sec. All right, so the script is good. And now we're going to uh, run the script, execute. And let's see how it's going to validate the data.
Okay, so it's going to create order first from GUI part. Okay, so it's uh, trying to create order. Okay, so this is anyway the synchronization issue. There is some problem here. Just you need to to overcome this problem. You have to put some wait time in your script. Okay, just give me one sec. So I'm going to put some wait time here. Zero. All right, so because that's the synchronization issue. Your script is moving fast, whereas the application is slow. That's why. Just you have to put some wait time to handle these scenarios. So anyway, so it's a creating order now. Now you keep some wait time here, and then you want to capture that order number. And now it's trying to make a connection to the underlying database. Then now it's trying to compare and uh, the scripting is done. The execution is done and now we're going to locate the results. Okay, so this is the results and now we're going to locate uh, the results like seems uh, the things are good and it's passed even the database validation. So it's going to say uh, the value is matched across the database. So this is how you can um, create uh, a reward DB connection object and record that object and then you can create a SQL query to read data from database. So even you can use, uh, you can get how many rows are there in the database. There are different methods that are available. So you can use uh, those methods. Uh, hope you enjoyed the session. Um, so please uh, keep watch my other videos uh, for any topics uh, that you want to explore yourself. Uh, I posted uh, most of my videos on the, and uh, you can watch them. Thank you. Bye and have a good day.